Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up gamers? Welcome back to another Madden 19 tip video. I appreciate all the love and support. We got almost 2,000 views on the last video. So make sure you drop a like on the video and we are gonna go over how to use her like the pros. If y'all need any more help, let me know in the comment section. If y'all need updated post patch ebooks, they are in the link in the description and they are gonna be both fired. They are all getting updated this weekend. So the number one key is if you have your blitz set up, which will be in my ebooks you will have all these blitzes you can see me with a looper coming in right here so the key is the l1 or the lb controller depending on what kind of system you are using if you are in the spy if you got somebody manned up that will give you a auto assist as soon as the quarterback has the throw in motion that's when you want to hold the y or the interception button you can see me right here if i'm in the qb spy his legs will shuffle if i have somebody cross man it will help my guy keep the offensive line standing still let my blitz pressure get there all my adjustments behind the scenes will be in a certain type of coverages and your guy will be able to lurk better like i said if you are hovering no matter if you're on the left side or the right side especially in past situations all you want to do is hold the lb or the l1 button you can see me hovering right now I'm going to hold the L1 as soon as he hikes the ball. I'm going to slow it down for y'all. That's going to make me hold that right side. Look at the guard. Look at the tackle. I am holding them. My blitz is getting enough time to do that looping blitz pressure. If you want this setup, make sure you go get the ebooks in the description. And now, after I hold that LB or L1 for one or two seconds, I'm able to run underneath the tight end. Because once the pressure starts getting to the quarterback, he has to release the ball. So, I'm able to run underneath the tight end. You want them to get a one or two yard head start on you. So, the only thing he can do is high point pass it. You are able to look down and see all the route concepts. That's the good thing about this. He hikes the ball. I'm able to see what my tight end is doing. I'm able to look around the field and see if a post, if a drag is coming. Now, I'm able to play defense and pick pick up on the person that I am responsible for. That's the key to using the L1 or the LB button. It's a feature in the game, so you need to make sure that you utilize it to the best of your ability. I am hovering. I got my blitz all set up. If you need help with any kind of blitzes, any kind of offensive tips, go down in the description and become part of the Clamp City squad. I'm holding L1, LB, and I'm hovering. I'm letting my tight end come. It's giving my blitzer more time. You can see the looper coming in right there. No running back. No offensive lineman is going to pick him up. He feels the pressure. Has to get rid of the ball. He throws it fast. And my cornerback is right there to pick it off. If y'all enjoy these tips, drop a big fat like. Happy Thanksgiving. Let's go.